All right, guys, how's it going? This is Mr. Zari here at Landrum Middle School. Uh, today we're going to take a look at just some real basic things about using the Mindstorm EV3 software and how to manage some things on your LEGO EV3 Mindstorm brick. Okay, so this should be pretty brief. Uh, before we do anything, though, remember, always make sure that you're using your brain and make sure that you think things through. Okay. So last time I showed you anything, we just looked at the basics of opening up a program and creating uh, you know, projects and programs and looking at the different programming blocks. Uh, this time, <clears throat> I actually have a brick connected to the uh, computer through a USB cable. So we can see down here in the bottom right hand corner, we have a couple of options that were not available to us the last time you took a look at a video. And these options allow us to manage uh, some issues on our brick. So usually it usually starts off with the brick information tab and that tab tells us a couple of things. It tells us the name of the brick which is highlighted there. It's EV3. If I want to change it all I have to do is highlight it and change that. It also tells me the status of the battery. So right now it looks like the battery level is fully charged. It tells me the firmware. Sometimes we have to update that. And it tells me how I'm connected. Okay. And then I have this little wrench right here, which if I click on that, it will take me to wireless setup, which we are not actually going to be using, so we don't need to worry about that. But also, underneath here, it's got this cylinder, and it looks like a bunch of stacked coins. This is an important feature. This is the memory browser. And what this does is this tells me all the different programs that are saved to the brick. So sometimes we want to delete everything that's on there and start fresh so the things that you should see in the projects folder when you click memory browser should be brick download underscore save brick program underscore save anything else is going to be something that you've added and we probably want to delete so right here is a student from last year his name was Daniel and in there he had um, you know a couple of projects and, and programs so what I'm going to do is just simply highlight that and I'm going to hit delete and now that has been cleared from my memory and then over here on the left hand side it tells us how many how much memory is available and how much is being used okay so that is managing the memory now the next tab down here is we have the port view okay if I click on the port view it will tell me all the different items that are connected to the ports Remember, A through D is always going to be your motor ports, and 1 through 4 are always going to be your sensor ports. So, if you take a look at the screen, you can see that it's actually live. I'm moving my robot left and right, and you can see the numbers for sensor port 2, 3, and 4 are changing. If I rotate the wheels, you can see that ports B and C are also changing. So this is an easy way to check to make sure that your ports are connected to the motor or sensor. You can simply move things just to check to see if it works. Okay. The last thing is this available bricks uh, tab. This will show me all the bricks that are connected either through USB, through Bluetooth, or through wireless. Since we are only going to be using USB, we're never going to look at this because we're only going to be using the USB cable, you'll never be connected to other bricks through uh, Bluetooth or through wireless. Okay, So now that we've done that, <clears throat> I just want to quickly show you these three different options here, which is download program, download and run, and run selected. Okay, I mentioned them, but we need to take a look and see exactly what they do. So what I'm going to do is just simply build a, a real simple program uh, for example, I'm going to have this move, uh, the two large motors moving forward, uh, like half speed. I'm going to make it 10 rotations, okay? And then after that, uh, we're going to put something else. Let's do a left-handed turn. So same thing, I'm going to make it three rotations, but my turn is going to go in the left-hand direction. And then... The next thing would be, uh, I'm just going to completely turn everything off, all right? So I have three programming blocks here. Move forward for 10 rotations, turn left for three rotations, and then stop, okay? I can see that my motor ports are B and C, B and C, B and C, and I'm gonna double check and make sure that that is correct, and on my brick, 
uh, I can actually check here. I have B and C as my large motor ports, so that looks correct. So there's three ways that I can put this on my robot or onto my brick. First one is simply download. When I click download, you will hear that noise. All it did was download it and it created a project folder and a program uh, on in, inside that project folder. Of course, I would need to rename these to make it make more sense. Okay, so the top one just downloads. The next one, if I click that one, it is not only going to download, it is also going to run the robot. So you'll hear the robot running after I click it. Okay, so this is a problem because it's connected via USB cable. If I have it running, then I'm going to have to basically chase it down with my computer. Okay, so if you were looking at the programming window, you should have noticed something happening for each of these bricks. You can see that you get these kind of wavy lines here. That's telling me what part of the program is actually running at what time. Now this part is running, and then this is just the end. The last thing is run selected. So let's say I wanted to just test out one programming block to make sure everything is correct. I know this one's good, but I'm not so sure about this one. All I have to do is select it. It's kind of highlighted in that light blue. So I'm just going to run this selected part only. And to do that, I'm going to click Run Selected. When I click it, just that part will run. So it's doing that left-hand turn for three rotations. That's pretty much it. Uh, those were the basic things that I wanted you to be aware of. What are all these things in the bottom right-hand corner? How to download, how to change the name, how to change the what's on the memory. So that's pretty much it. The next video that you'll end up watching, though, is going to be actually programming large motors, medium motors, and then adding in sensors. So with that, I want you guys to remember, always make sure that you're using your brain. Make sure you think things through. And above all else, always do the right thing. It's Mr. Zare. Take it easy.